In this problem, we have to subtract these mixed numbers. So the first thing we want to do is find a common denominator for the fractions. So I'm going to go to the side and do that. So here we have 3 eighths, and here we have 1 half. That means the common denominator has to be 8. So what we do is we take the 1 half, and we multiply it by a number that will make the bottom 8. So that number is 4. But then you can't really just multiply the bottom by 4. You have to multiply the top by 4 also. You're essentially just multiplying by 1 because these cancel. So this is equal to 1 times 4 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8. Okay, so we can write this as 7 and 3 eighths minus 3 and 4 eighths. And we're still in a bit of a predicament because this number here is smaller than this number here. So whenever that happens, you have to borrow 1 from this number. So the fast way to do it is like this. So you turn the 7 into a 6, okay? And if we're borrowing a 1, well, you want to think of your 1 as a number over 8. So 1 is 8 over 8. This is the number that you're borrowing from the 7. So you take this number, 8 over 8, and you add it to this one. That'll give you 11 over 8. Really, really clever way of doing it. And then minus 3 and 4 eighths. Again, you have 7 and 3 eighths, and you want to make this number bigger. So you write the 7 as a 6, and that gives you a 1 to work with. You say, okay, how can I write 1 as a number over 8? Well, 8 over 8. Then 8 plus 3 is 11, so you add it back to the fractional part. Super awesome. And we can just go ahead and do the subtraction like this. Watch this. Now that everything's good, you just do 6 minus 3, so you get 3. And then 11 eighths minus 4 eighths is 7 eighths. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.